Hi, welcome back to Genius Lounge. I'm your host, Matt Troutman. If this is your first time to Genius Lounge, Genius Lounge is the place to come to get free training for the tech in your life. So today we're gonna to talk about how to create and share albums on your Google phone. It should be noted though, that this will also work on iOS because Google Photos exists on iPhone as well. So iPhone users, you're not left out in the dark here either. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Google Photos on my phone. And here I can see I've got a selection of photos that perhaps I'd like to share some of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is tap and hold on a photo. You'll notice then that it's selected and I can also select some other photos as well. Now what I can do is I can tap the plus button in the upper right hand corner and I can say, I'd like to add this to an album. It then adds all those photos to an album for me and prompts me to enter a name for the album. All right, so I've given it a name. I also have the ability to add extra photos if I tap that button there in the center. I can add text or a map. So I can say, this is Truett being silly. When I'm done with my album, all I need to do is tap the check mark in the upper left hand corner and it will be complete. Now I've got this nice album organized and it will sync across all of my devices that use Google Photos. Now if I wanted to share this with someone, it's super simple to do. All I have to do is tap the share button in the upper right hand corner. It's the little dot with two dots coming out of it. I then get a prompt asking who I would like to share this with. And I also get all these different services down here that I can share with as well. So in this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna type in an email address for someone I know who uses Google Photos. All right, and at this point, I can go ahead and tap send and it will send that invitation to view this particular album. I get a message saying sending photos and now this is a shared album and it shows me who is involved in this album just under the date there. So by default, when you create a shared photo album, the participants of that album are able to collaborate with it. If you wanted to change that setting, all you need to do is tap the little menu in the upper right hand corner and then tap options. You can switch collaborate to off to disable people from adding photos to the album. So that's a quick overview of how to create albums in Google Photos and then share those albums. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up down below. And if you wanna get more videos like this one, we suggest that you subscribe to the page. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you get notifications each time we post. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time in the Genius Lounge.